All right, last year at this time, Joel and I found tons of redfish on ledges throughout the South Louisiana marsh. Now these fish were not big, most of them were throwbacks, but we had a lot of legal redfish in the mix as well, and just an incredible volume of fish. We've gotten in the right time of year for that to be happening now, but I haven't really tried it yet. Today's gonna be that day. Now, unfortunately for Joel, he's gotta work, so I'm taking his good buddy, Connor McNeil, out. Connor's an 18-year-old high school senior. Of course, he's not in school right now because of the coronavirus. So he's got plenty of free time, and he's very eager to go fishing. All right, so Connor and I have decided to work some deep ledges. This is where the redfish were hanging at this time last year. This is also where the trout hang <laughs> at this time of year. So we could definitely run across either one. This is a little area I've fished before. Very shallow here, as you can see from the grass. It drops off steeply right next to that grass. The water here is really, really special. Very nice. Very nice. Just got to locate some fish. Tide doesn't appear to be screaming yet. It is coming in without question. It's gonna be rising all day. It's just not flying in. Fishing should get better as that tide increases. Makes those fish a lot more predictable about where they set up. And we're currently in day, I don't know, feels like day 400 of the coronavirus shutdown. And you can definitely tell it based on the number of boats fishing. Just incredible. Jam packed with people today. 15 feet, yeah. Look how close we are. Oh, okay. You got smoked? A little nibble. A little nibble. It was definitely something. Okay, well, that's good. We gotta try and pinpoint them. Too much slack in the line. This water's just way, way too pretty not to have fish in it. It's just gorgeous. It makes me very tempted to push in the marsh and go catch reds and bass. I know we can do that. Two bites, no hookups, Connie. I know, I'm, I'm struggling. Out of practice. You're right about the net. Yep. So in this uh, hold right here, I have some off. It, it definitely helps for a little while. You got some good smelling lotion in here too, huh? I sure do. Hey, don't judge. You said I was judging. I saw a shrimp pop. First shrimp I've seen this year. This tide just is not inspired. It's just lazy. Last cast and we're going. I shouldn't have made this cast. All right, stop number three. Well, it's about time somebody hooked one. Ooh, a bass. What the heck? That's a nice little bass. <laughs> it is a nice bass. All right, you may be making another cast, Connor. Good fish. We're going to give him a boat ride home. Dude, I did an intense arm workout yesterday. That was very dumb. Whew. It was difficult peeling crawfish last night. My arms were so tired. All right, Connor and I are taking a quick break from the ledges. Really not producing fish yet. Tide's just barely rising, and I would much prefer a more inspired tide. So I saw this little bayou on a map, and just want to make a quick pass through here, see if we can run across some reds and bass. So far, it's not looking like this thing has a whole lot of depth, but it's very windy, as you can see ahead. There should be a little bit better depth in those, in those bends. How deep, Connie? Um, 3.8. Okay. Should be a little deeper in this bend. That's probably where we're gonna find some fish. Got him? What you got there, Connie? There you go. That's what we came in here for, Connor. Nice bass, there you go. Red shad. Red shad! There he is. There he is, Connor. <laughs> you know what? I wrapped around my rod tip, so I had to give him slack. Uh, oh, well, I sent him airborne at least. Well, Connor, I'm glad you're putting fish in the box. Listen, you see that ego box back there? It's a black and red one. Yep, look in one of those side pockets, there's a Ziploc bag full of those baits. 
help yourself to whatever color you want. There should be red shad in there, which I'd stick with considering that's what you just caught your fish on. What a beautiful, beautiful morning. Best of all, no coronavirus out here. Yeah, you might get Zika. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. Right up on the boat. Boy, he smoke it. He was hooked up for a second. I gotta check my damn barb. That's two fish. I don't know, Connor. I can't get a hook in one. I know the feeling. I'd like to I'd like to help you put some in the box, but I can't the uh, no. What? Just saw a bunch of surface activity and I got this pop bar tied on, so why not? Well, that sucks, Connor. That bite's over. Let's go. All right, Connor and I had to make a short move because a crabber came through that bayou. In shallow water like that, you definitely don't want to fish behind a, an outboard that's been running. So we just found another bayou on a map. Looks similar to the one we just left, not very far from it. This one's probably got a little bit more water in it, which doesn't hurt my feelings. So we'll just see what we can find in here. How deep? Nice, nice, I'll take it. This little S turn up here should have some fish in it. You throw in a Texas rig? Yeah. Okay. A little diversity in what Good. We're doing. Absolutely. This is a part of fishing I love, the hunt. Mm -hmm. You don't know if you can find anything or not. Water's not as good as what we left, but it's still very, very fishable. This just this just feels right, mm -hmm. this bayou. Connor got him another one. Hey Connor, can I reel it in? What you got a red? Red fish? Have you seen him yet? Nope. Yep, I think he's a keeper. He's on the small side, but I think he's a keeper. Yeah, he's a keeper. Oh, you gotta flip him. He's not that big. Oh yeah, good fish. Good job, Connie. Thank you, Mr. Todd. Well, the McNeils will add to their Corona stash. I don't know what the Massons are gonna eat. He almost fell in? I almost ate it right there. That would've been fun. I wouldn't have laughed, I promise. <laughs> At least it's not cold. Nope. What's the water temp? 79.6. Wow. I tell you what, if you fell in, you'd be shocked how cold it is. <laughs> I wish I had an echo tied on. I'd go with that. Oh, echo, crankbait. Uh, I've grown to have a ton, ton of confidence in that bait. I really like it. I've never been a fan of crankbait. Oh, man. Huh? It's... Oh, there we go. There we go. There's a fish. <laughs> That's a red. That's a red. Beep, beep. I think he's a keeper. Yeah, he's a keeper. All right. All right, I get to contribute, Connor. Well, Connor, I got to say, this beat's staring at the walls. Yeah, I know you would. To one. There's one. There's one. Another red fish. Another keeper red, too. I can't turn him. I know that. He is. All right. 
a ride. Really, these are perfect eating size reds. It's the ones you want to catch. This episode of Marshman Masson is brought to you by H and H Lure Company, and by Cito New Orleans, and by Bill Lewis Lures, and by SportsmansOutfitters.com, and by Plaquemines Parish. Oh. Get the tail right <laughs> There's, there's probably a few fish right here if we don't spook them with all these reds making all this racket. Bump. <laughs> Dude, you just put that on. Another red. He just he just didn't have the hook. He just didn't have the hook. There he is, Connie. Get him, Connie. That looks redfish-esque. Oh, there we go. That's the little reds. But I tell you what, I think he's 16. You have to put him on the tape. He's gonna be close. I think he might might be a, might be a hair under. Nope, he's short. We're gonna swing around at some point, but give this another two or three casts. Once we swing, we oh, there you go. Rat red. Rat red. I bet this bayou's full of these things. Something happened to you, boy. Got fed up, didn't yeah, he's got a chunk taken out of his back. Poor See you, bruh. I'm gonna catch one on this cast. Calling my shot. Fish got something like it when you call your shot. Yep, but I'm doing it anyway. You defying them? I'm defying the damn fish gods. They better deliver for me. Or else. <sighs> sure never mock the fish gods. Learn my lesson. Which way is the bayou go? Looks like we got a T right here, huh? Um, this opens up to a little pond. To the right? Yeah. And what's the left do? It goes to another bayou. Okay. Until, yeah, it keeps going down. This looks pretty right here, Connie. There should be some fish here, but we passed many places there should be fish. I think they all came right here. That could be it. Hopefully. That's why they weren't there, because they're all... Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Told you it looked good. Told you it looked good. Oh, speckled trout. File hook trout. Nice one. Sorry, dude. You got too close to it. You decided you didn't want it, but... It wanted you. Too late. Now I'm taking your guts with me. I don't really want to do that. Ugh. There's never just one trout in an area. He's gonna find his buddy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There he is. There he is. That's a trout. There we go, Connie. It might be a little red. He didn't come up at all. Sure did feel like a trout when he hit. But he has not come up. A little red. That's not what we're after. Was he out in the middle? He was right about where that trout was. Wind's picking up, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm not getting demolished by that. Yep, that's good. I'd rather than that, so... All right, Connor and I are still plugging. This wind is still blowing, and we've come into an area that has some gorgeous water. I mean, really gorgeous water. The sun is out now. The wind's still blowing. We had a, such a nice morning for a little bit, but man, the wind is really just screaming now. But this area is loaded with alligators, that's for sure. We're hoping it's also loaded with bass and redfish. Based on this water, we should be able to find something. We can get out these gators. Missed him? You had him? Yeah. It was kind of a weenie hook set, huh? It was. He caught me right at the end of the pond. Okay. I saw him though. I'll cut you some slack.
Look at this gator. He's not even going down. I guess he feels like he owns a place. Got him? Missed him? Look at that. <laughs> Dude, they're, are you throwing red shad? Yeah. They're tattooing that red shad. I can't get a bite. Four gators. One, two, three, four. I bet you could. All right, I made a switch to a bait that's been delivering a lot for me lately. This gold Echo 1.75 crankbait. This has been the hot bait of, of my spring, at least. Catching bass and redfish and speckled trout. Let's see if it produces today. Boy, does that thing look good in the water. Bill Lewis, rattle trap. This has me a little befuddled. Look at that. Yeah, they'll hit that. That's good. Get, get you a big old bass or a big alligator. Oh, there he is. There he is. What is that? What is that, Connie? Is that a, oh, it's a nice bass. Man, he's pulling drag. He ain't that big. All right, there we go. There we go. On the echo, 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 echo. All right. Right off that point, eh? He slapped it. I mean, slapped it. He got, he got in there. He got after it. There's another crab. So I'm telling you, dude, they're up and up and active. Here we go, Todd. What? Oh, you got the crab? <laughs> That's it. There you go. You destroyed your bait, probably. Oh, damn. Yeah, it's kind of dumb to do when you're fishing barefoot. Remember when you were 18? <laughs> <laughs> There's another area I really want to fish, so... I've never fished any of it, but I was looking on the map, and it looks good. So we're going to head there next. Where's that? Like it. We're almost done with this. Here we go. You no. What are you throwing? Oh, Dude, I had it in and I was fighting him. Was it a red? Fast. A nice one too. I saw it. Yeah, my new favorite curse word by the way. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. That's a good one. I like that word. That's a really good word. Man, Connor, I know. It's like I gotta carry you. Hey, dude, half of them, I've seen the. <laughs> I got hot. I've got hot. Dude, it's like. It's like fishing with Joel. Connor got two bites and missed them both. I don't know, Todd. I don't know, Matrix Crawl. Dude, that pissed me off. It should. The next one, he is going to get a hook through the brain. What are you, 0 for 5 in here? Yes. There he is. <sighs> yep. Watermelon Matrix Craw is the key. He straight up molested that thing. It was like, oh, stopped it on a dime. What size hook you using? Three Ah, are you really? Yeah. That's your problem. Why? Three odd does not work well with a craw. What are you using? Four odd. Really? Yep. Well, looks like I better make power moves real quick. I used three odds once. Once. That's it. I'll never use them again. For a craw or in general? For a craw. My success ratio equaled yours today when I used it. Boink. Get him, Connie. Get him, Connie. That was almost perfect timing, Mr. Todd. 
Todd. Nice. Good fish. There we go. All right, Connor. That's on the board. You go doink, split second later. <laughs> so Connor was throwing a three-aught extra wide gap hook. He's missed how many in a row? Five? Five in a row. Five fish in a row. So he switched over to a four-aught. First fish that hit, in the boat. I was hoping that wind was going to lay down, but it ain't. It ain't. It's blowing. We're gonna. F oh, oh, goodness! Are you a red? Yep, you are a red. He smashed it. Yeah, he's a keeper. He's a pretty red. Because that water's pretty. Where'd that crab trap go? We'll let it run over. Right here. Okay. We'll see. Make sure, but he don't know he's 16. Oh, 17. 